What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of There You Have It. Today, we are smoking the Romeo y Julieta 1875. Nice pronunciation. Thanks, man. Yeah. Jeff, you want to give him a close-up? Absolutely. Today, we're smoking the Robusto. It's a 5x50. It's got a beautiful milk chocolate Indonesian wrapper. I'm gonna hit you with the dry drag and take it from there. Lovely. Lovely. You guys ready for the dry drag? Let's do it. Not a ton from the dry drag. No. No. Maybe very slight woodsy, slight leather. That's about it. Yeah. Very, very light though. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm getting the same thing. Not sure where it's going to take us. Let's toast it. Let's toast it. Nice new lighter, Jeff. Thank you. What is this one called? It's the Tactical Triple Lighter from Zycar. From Zycar, Tactical Triple? Yeah. This thing is sharp, man. So far, so good. Yeah. Initial thoughts, boys, on the 1875. Uh, getting decent smoke, even though it's a pretty firm draw. Yeah. Flavors, maybe uh, mellow cedar. Definitely woodsy. Definitely getting the cedar. That's the main flavor I'm catching as well. I got a firm draw as well. Uh, very light spice on the back of the tongue, if any. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd say that the main flavor I'm getting is the, the cedar. Maybe a little bit of sweet. You know, late. Yeah. Yeah, definitely on the milder side. Which yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Good start to the Romeo y Julieta 1875. It's actually a really nice, mild, woodsy flavor on it, this. It's it's mm -hmm. relaxing. It is super it is super <laughs> relaxing. This is a nice one. You know, we're we've been doing a lot of full bodied or infused. This is this is right middle of the road. Beautiful cedar flavor, just very enjoyable to start. It's not murder in your mouth with spice, but every couple of draws, I get a little bit on the back of the tongue. Yeah. Good start to this one. You know these guys have been around since 1875? You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> I never know if you're going to put it together or not. <laughs> that being said, we're going to smoke these down to about halfway, and we'll meet you there with any changes. Stay tuned. I love it. I love that you guys just pick up on it all the time. Hold it. Hold it as long as you can. My hands are going to be warm. I <laughs> drop. I stopped being able to breathe. Jake, what do you know about Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet. The Montagues and the Capulets. Ooh. Forbidden love. Nice. Death, sorrow, sadness. And honestly, two dummies. Because one faked his death, the other one killed themselves, and then he killed himself. But, like, what, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Wait 20 minutes, see I'm, if he gets yeah. up. Or maybe, like, just run away. Yeah. Get, get out of there. Just run. You got legs? Yeah. It's like the 1700s. No one, there's, no one's going to chase you. Nobody. They're worried about cholera. You got anything to add to that? Uh, I mean, I think he covered it. He nailed it. Yeah, did you play like Romeo in a play once? Right. Oh, he played right like, in school. Yeah, the troll under the bridge. <laughs> yeah, he played the bush. <laughs> I was bush too. <laughs> I was really shooting for that lead bush roll. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't nail it. All right, Bush, can you slide to the left? <laughs> second Bush, scurry out there. <laughs> scurry. <laughs> you got a great scurry. God, we're getting too much, too many guttural noises from Bush too. <laughs> Stop feeding the Bush Whoppers. 
Uh, I think Bush 2 puked. <laughs> <laughs> I think you definitely nailed. That was a pretty good sum up of <laughs> yeah. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah, good thing you went to him, because if you went to me, I would have been like, eh, Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, his was good. Yeah. yeah, I was looking for a little more than Shakespeare. <laughs> That's what you would have gotten. I had ya. Tongue twisters, no history out of this guy. One trick pony. <laughs> history itself? Is it books? Shakespeare? What do you get? What do you got against them? Uh, I don't know. They got nothing. You hate love stories? I think because I learned about it, you know, 30-something years ago. And now you're aging yourself. I know. You never want to age yourself. That should've being said... Went, should've just went with illiterate. They've been around since <laughs> 1875. Books, no read. It's a really good mild smoke. Uh-huh. It is. Nothing stands out. There's not a lot. The flavors are... Have you have you retrohaled it yet? Mm-hmm. It's a smooth retrohale. It's pretty smooth. But you still, you're not getting a ton of... Kind of anything. No, but I do. I get the. I get the cedar. I get the. The little sweetness of the cedar after, yeah. and the like, the extended exhale, and then I get. A, a slight little spice. It, it's nice because that spice isn't. It's not like overpowering. It's just a tasty tobacco. Yeah. We're about halfway down the Romeo di Giulietta, 1875. Any changes, fellas? Not a whole lot. Getting the same mellow cedar flavor. The the firmness that I started with has pretty much gone away. Getting great smoke now. I still got a pretty tight draw going on mine. Nothing to um, you know to deter me from the cigar. I'm still having a great time with it. Getting a decent amount of smoke, but it, it's definitely a firm draw. What about you? Agreed with the no change. Also getting a bit of a firm draw. It's hit or miss. One puff will be good. Next one will be pretty lacking in smoke. Overall though, as we said in the first part there, very mild cigar, very enjoyable. You know, just yeah, easy to smoke on and, and hang out. I think so. Let's, uh, let's smoke them down to the label and then uh, we'll talk about the rankings and final thoughts. Stay tuned. Have you ever drank a tea in your life? It's <laughs> 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 disgusted by it. Yeah, I've had tea. Why? Why? I don't believe you. With like milk and honey and sugar in it? Oh. It's regular tea. Give me a name brand of tea. Um, Nuss tea. <laughs> <laughs> when you're sick. Why? You got like a, a... You got like a... When you got a sick throat, you know? You need caffeine? No, you get tea and honey. Somebody told you that was good for you? Yeah. I'm gonna go with it's not. You're telling me that's old, that when you have old a, wives' tale. When you have a sick throat, a little tea and honey, do you right? Stop saying it? sick throat. What's it called? A throat ache? Sore, Sore throat. throat. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> We are down to the final third on the Romeo y Julieta, 1875, and uh, Jeff, what do you got for him? Uh, not much change. Been a really, really good smoke. Enjoyable. For a rating, I think I'll go 7-6 on this one. 7-6, fair score. Jake? The Romeo y Julieta. Yeah, you know, hold there. Have you said it yet? Romeo e Julieta. That's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, nice. I've been practicing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice even smoke. Uh, flavors stay pretty consistent throughout. Good mild flavors. Uh, little, a solid change of pace for us. We're usually leaning more towards the full-bodied cigars or the infused cigars. This has been relaxing and enjoyable. I'll go with a 8.1 for my rating. 8.1 from Jake. I, I agree with the guys. It was a nice middle-of-the-road cigar. Um, 
I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna go right into the ranking. I think you guys nailed it. Uh, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on a little bit of what I think here. <laughs> Stay with me. Uh, the sweet cedar, the mild smoke, the Indonesian wrapper. I mean, Romeo y Julieta has been around a long time. They know what they're doing. It's, it's honestly a great smoke. I'm gonna give it 7.9. I think that's a good score for this one. If you're if you're not into like full body cigars, if you're new to the game, you know you're smoking infused and, and want to get something mild. I think this is a great choice, a great starter cigar. Um, everybody can enjoy it. There you have it, Romeo the Julieta, 1875 in the books. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to our channel. Jeff. Yes? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. You know you got it. Peace. <laughs> Ding-a-ling goodbye. <laughs>